Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name's Joey and this is Little Moon. Say hello. She's not too, I guess, maybe later. <laughs> so welcome back. We are here on April 28th and we're gonna be reading from our daily reflection. This series is Each Day New Beginning. So grateful that you're here with me and we'll go ahead and get started. Um, how you guys doing? All right, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get started. There's a quote and it says, suffering, no matter how multiplied, is always individual. Suffering, no matter how multiplied, is always individual. And that's a quote from Anne Morrow Lindbergh. It says, knowing that others have survived experiences equally devastating gives us hope, but it doesn't diminish our own personal suffering. Nor should it, right? Out of suffering comes new understanding. Suffering also encourages our appreciation of the lighter, easier times. Pain experienced fully enhances the times of pleasure. Our sufferings are singular individual and lonely, that our experiences with it can be shared, thereby lessening the power they have over us. Sharing our pain with another person also helps them remember their pain too, that it's survivable. Our pain is survivable. Suffering softens us. It helps us to feel more compassion and love towards another. Our sense of belonging to the human race, our recognition of the interdependence and kinship of us, of us all and uh, the most cherished results of the gift of pain. Again, our sense of belonging to the human race, our recognition of the interdependence and kinship of us all are the most cherished results of the gift of the pain. So each of our sufferings, sharing them as we do, strengthens me and heals my wounds of alienation. Feeling connected because I know I'm not the only person in the world who has suffered, though it's my individual path and suffering that I'm going through. And knowing that Mine's not the biggest or the worst or the only. Makes me less lonely, that's for sure. When I can share that um, with others, like just by being with each other. Um, my suffering is singular, individual, and lonely. But my experience with it can be shared, thereby lessening the power it has over me. So I know that, and um, I don't know. I'm just going to keep it simple tonight. I'm really grateful that you're here. I'd like to hear about yours. Um, we're going to be having a meeting soon, so um, personally, we can share that again, as we did last time. And um, I know that for me, I'm powerless over so many things in life, like over I'm powerless over how um, other people act or react. But um, for me, I know that I have tools now to maybe um, pause if I feel drawn to say something I need to say. Um, it's not as... needed to do like I don't have to prove my point to someone um, I can just understand that we agree to disagree and that's okay um and I'm not great at that all the time mm -hmm. actually um admittedly a hot-headed person so um and that's why I'm working on myself one day at a time you know so that I can pay attention to that and, and um, take responsibility for my 
reactions, my actions, take responsibility for my life. And yes, things have happened to me, um, maybe as a child or as a young person and but I don't let them have power over me. I would say much less often. So, and it's a progress, not perfection. So, um, I don't know. It's a good way to live for me. So, um, I hope that um, this has reached someone out there and please share this uh, channel with someone that may benefit. Uh, I read every day, God willing, I'm here with a new reading. I have um, over 365 days of readings on this channel already of other books. So um, you can check those out on the main page. Um, you can just put a date in or a book. Um, Courage changes here, of course, in miracles hope for today and one day at a time now. So um, the steps uh, we're gonna be working on um, are from the uh, the book, uh, Paths to Recovery. We're gonna be doing that book. That's already on this channel starting steps one through four already. So, all right, I love you guys. And let's go ahead and say the serenity prayer so that we can be grounded. I say this prayer in the morning and at night and whenever I need it. Like if I'm, I know I'm gonna be challenged by uh, interaction with someone that I'm not um, seeing eye to eye with has done something that was a little underhanded. I'll be like, let me, I'll say the prayer before I have to be around that person so that I can just be the best version of myself possible at that moment. So anyway, um, here we go. Take a nice deep breath in and out. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we can't change. Other people, places, things outside of us. It changed someone's attitude about anything. Um, to have the courage to change the things we can. Things we can change are ourselves, our actions, our attitudes, um, our perceptions and the wisdom to know the difference at any given moment, one day at a time. All right, so um, I love you guys. And like and subscribe if you already haven't. And um, I will see you, God willing, tomorrow with another reading from each day in the beginning. Okay, very good. And the kitty, say bye-bye. All right.